All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mav. My name is Maverick, um, and for those of you that don't know, this is my 2011 FX4 F150 that I've been uh, traveling in for the last year. So for the last year, I've been traveling out of this thing. Uh, I put 55,000 miles on it, traveled to 16 different states, and slept for four months of overnights. So that is uh, 120 nights have been spent in the back of this thing. Um, my coldest night being negative 10 and my warmest night being uh, a little over 90. I've taken this truck from Minnesota all the way to LA and I've caught over 20 different species of fish along the way. It's been pretty awesome. Um, there's a lot of different videos on my channel that cover it. So I wanted to make a little montage of my favorite moments. Um, because these are videos on my channel, if you guys are interested in more of the story, you obviously can go to my channel. and. Uh, click on those videos. If you have any questions in regards to what clips came from where, you can leave a comment down below or you can feel free to message me on Instagram, which I will also leave in the description of this video. So I want to say thank you to everybody that supported me along the way so far. Um, this video is going to go from day one of me buying this truck to building it out to this winter when uh, the new year ended. So really appreciate you guys tuning in. Without further ado, let's, let's cue this montage. I'm going to embark on the adult adventure of trying to find my perfect dream truck. So this is the first truck that I'm looking at. The biggest thing for me is that it has this topper on it, which is really nice. For when I'm strapped for cash and need a place to stay, I might just throw a little bed in here. All right guys, well I'm still at the same dealership. I got suckered into uh, test driving another car. This one's still in my price range. It's got the V8. Sure. I'm a fan of white, so I like it. I like it better than the other one. I'm gonna go inside now and I'm gonna sign off some paperwork and sign my life away. So the last year has been pretty freeing. Um, the first time I went truck camping, I went to a local retail store, bought a cot, and had an old, uh, an old nightstand table in there and some random rugs from around the house. My sleeping pad I put on there earlier and I laid on it and it, it has some holes in it. Hello and welcome back to another episode of MAB where we do hunting, fishing, Camping, everything outdoors. <laughs> Staying in that thing tonight. So stick with me, this episode's gonna be awesome. I'm so excited and can't be uh, more happy to be spending it with you guys in the back of the truck. Let's get it. I can't make these things up. As you can tell, the fender's a little bit bent in and the bumper's cracked. Ooh, I did something right. So immediately I knew that somebody had been in my truck and had done that. Um, yeah, all my stuff was gone. So I lost lost a lot of equipment. I lost a drone. I lost my laptop. You can you can keep kicking me, but like there's there's only so much that hurts. What can you really do? You just gotta keep you gotta keep on keeping on. For every bad experience, there's gonna be a good one. And uh, I'm paying my dues right now, but in the future, life is gonna get better. And it's it's not always gonna be like this. Not very often do you get to enjoy steak in the outdoors with a nice cliffside view. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. I've been kind of sitting around for like the last 20 minutes and it seems like traffic's kind of died down around here but unfortunately for me I gotta pee so it's about nine o'clock at night and that means that it's dinner time normally I just pop my tailgate open and I'd cook myself some dinner judging the circumstances that's probably not appropriate got one fish on big fish Crack this egg. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank guy. Let's break up that yolk. Mmm, I love poached eggs. This is gonna be awesome. sit down, have a sock soda, my usual bed, and then uh, my unusual bed for the night. <laughs> There's my bed. Wow, that is really bright. Um, okay, so we're in the car, and we're gonna go to bed. Look at that rod just doubled, dude. Oh yeah, it's probably like a 45 incher. All right, 45 inches. Special measurement. <laughs> dude! And I look back and my rod's just... Yeah, I saw it like... I was like, oh my god, dude, that's a fish. This is just a camper setup for a person that might not know anything about woodworking, which, myself, I don't know anything about woodworking. So since you're filming, you're not gonna help, are you? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll help. If we had a drill that was a little more charged, I think it would be a better task. Oh. Hey, hey, what's going on? That was nice. We could do that. And then it's like really nice. <laughs> You sleep on it right now? I'm going to bed. Alright. Um, I'm now in South Dakota. Oh, look at, there's, what are those, oh, there's cows. Hey! Mwah. Nothing? Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> part of my roof rack and then I come back and look at it and my whole cargo basket has shifted well I'm gonna get this thing situated and try to find my other piece of my roof rack I guess all right folks what's going on we're in the middle of freaking Montana right now look at this so I'm in a place called Paradise Valley um, right on the Yellowstone River I'm I'm probably about like an hour away from that Yellowstone National Park Oh! 
<laughs> the trout aren't busting right now, so apparently it's a good time to be throwing some nymphs. Oh yeah, oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they call this the aquarium. Come on. There's browns, rainbows, cut bows right here. They're everywhere, dude. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess could, around with these nymphs first. You could sit here all day and catch a hundred fish. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting no. you. Come on. Okay. What, have we got a bow on here? Yeah, it's a bow. It's okay. All the way out of the water right Yeah, there. he jumped like five feet in the air. Oh, so this isn't even a big one. Mm -mm. Once he gives you his head, he'll give you his head, like right now, just pull his head up out of the water. Oh. Beautiful. So that's a beautiful rainbow trout. It's probably only about 15, 15 inches, I'd say. Yeah, 14, 15. All right, see you, dude. Heck there yeah. Goes. So I'm in Missoula, Montana right now. Um, in the process of driving over to Washington to a city that I don't really know how to pronounce. I got one. I got him. Oh my God, I got him. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's big. Oh no. All right, well that was like the biggest fish I've ever had on in my life. I think that thing was like 10 feet, dude. These Columbia River monsters are monsters. That was giant. Bro, he, I set the hook and it, it busted right at my knot. So I'm just, I'm gonna chalk it up to I tied a crappy knot, but. We're gonna get back out there. So it's gonna be Hannah's first time crabbing, my second time, so not very experienced. Either of us are not very experienced, and uh, we're hopefully gonna catch some today. We're gonna be going for some dungeness. What do you gotta say? Are you excited to catch crabs? I gotta say, I'm about to take my shirt off. Okay, well, we got the snares loaded full of bait. Do you, want, do you wanna watch me do the first one? No, I wanna lose it. Do you wanna, you wanna like lift this all the way, like so it's vertical, oh, no. and you wanna keep reeling? You don't have to, you don't have to do it hard. You don't, and you're not setting the hook. So just all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, reel, 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 reel. Can you feel anything on there? Yeah, it's a crab. Yeah. Get him over here! Oh my god, he's a keeper! Oh my god. Yeah, you got one! <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> you gotta take him off. I'm not taking him off. It's a male too, you get to keep it. I'm in my final destination, the California coast, and I can't be happier that I'm in the coastline of Northern California right now. I'm in wine country, about to go fishing with one of my one of my favorite YouTubers. So, Matt was kind enough to bring me out a setup because I don't have anything remotely close to this. Oh yeah, I don't know what the heck this is, but I got it. I think it's the same thing that you got. So Matt's telling me that this is a black and yellow rockfish. It's gorgeous here. Like, I'm in another, find myself yet again in another cattle grazing pasture. Some of this rock will come loose, so make sure you don't step on this, right on the edges of them. Lunch with a view. Like most of the time, it's just the flavor on the outside, but when you salt it, it's just throughout the entire thing. Mm. Oh. 
All right, guys, and here we are, the final stop of the tour, Boise, Idaho. I love fishing. I've been fishing since I was two. Which you've never eaten crawfish, have you? I've never eaten crawfish, no, so I'm, I'm super excited. This is easy, it's fun. Tons of them in this river. Oh, there's a fish. Might be a keeper. He's a little small, I think. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. All right, guys, so there's my first rainbow trip. Oh, my, he's just gonna go anyway. <laughs> Wanted to save him from hitting the rocks. Yeah, I don't know if you'd exactly call that river treasure, but it's gonna come home with me anyway. Oh, dude, look at it. They're so rad. Twist it? Yes. Am I doing this one? No. Oh my gosh. Breaking it, and then you should like peel in two parts off. Okay. Like rotate it more. Okay, there, yeah, you got the idea. Yeah. First impressions? It tastes like another one. Oh my god. Got him. Got him. Okay. Right, ready? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna get his head up. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Yeah. Yes! Yes! I am in Nevada right now, making my way to Southern California. If you know anybody in SoCal that wants to fish, fish tuna, can bring me on a boat or something, um, let me know. I mean, this looks very picturesque. Rarely, and leave you worse off than you are now. Do you understand what that means? If it happens, we'll have to send you back to the Warren State Home to live. I said. I like to think I'm good with chopsticks, but I definitely not. I think that sucks about sprouts is that they go bad in like a day or two. I have to. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's only four. I'm pretty sure this guy's short. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alright everybody, so I don't have a whole lot of time right now. Um, the sun's going down and I'd like to get this done. Before it gets too dark out because one, I'm hungry, and two, I can't see very well in the dark. Uh, this lobster was literally caught last night. All right, so there's all the lobsters. Um, I'm trying not to put them on the direct heat, but I'm gonna give these things like five minutes and then I'm gonna check on them. We need to pack. What time is it? 
Ich bin schmecker. Alright, these boys are loaded up. All right, so there we go. That's what the truck looks like with the uh, the leveling kit on it. And two. All right, so there we got it. Um, new tires been put on, and all the problems that we had have been fixed. Good morning everybody from sunny California. Well actually yesterday I decided to get the heck out of Southern California and uh, come check out the Eastern Sierras. I just woke up at seven o'clock and I'm gonna go jump in the hot springs that I slept at. So let's go do that. I left that lake, got myself some lunch, and now I'm going to a river. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, got a big old. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. He's been in there a little bit. God, dude, he just literally went bonkers. It's a seal tooth there, and he's not good. So that's why you gotta swing hard on these things. See how big that bony mouth is. All right. All right, man. Let's do this. Let's get her done. Oh, those bugs coming really aren't sticking very well. So take a look at these. Good night. Lawyer to lawyer one on one, and I was like, listen, I'm an American. I live paycheck to paycheck. I'm trying to be a patriotic American here. Just, what is this? All right, so Hannah and I just switched over for the second time. Um, I'm gonna check the weather here to see what's gonna be like in Bozeman. All right, starting off strong. Oh, oh, <laughs> Did you just film yourself spitting? Yeah.
Oh, thank you. No, it's not. I mean, it should be at 40. Oh, they're cold. I would say it's like no more than 20 degrees right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, I definitely enjoyed editing it. There was a lot of uh, cringy clips, but you know, it, it was really good to see like, you know, my mental state from the beginning of it to now where I'm just like, I'm just so happy it worked out. Um, I gotta thank each and every one of you. I gotta give credit where it's due, you know? Thanks to you, thanks to uh, my parents for supporting me. So I gotta give a big thank you to Hannah too. She definitely inspired me to uh, to go out. <laughs> I ended up following her out to the West Coast. I'm not gonna like sugarcoat that. Um, and then she also helped build a lot of my truck. Um, I'd say we at least did 50-50 on that thing. So really appreciate that. Thank you, Hannah. So it is really awesome to see that, you know, towards the towards the beginning of YouTube, I was like trying to figure out kind of who I was and like who I wanted to be on camera. I kind of put on this act like, you know, I was trying to be somebody that I thought people would want to see. And you know, I think I still do that a little bit. Like I think I, I think everybody kind of does that when they go on camera, but I do it a lot less than I did. Um, I was being way too over the top, kind of playing some crazy music in the background just kind of being a typical youtuber and it feels really good to have built a community of people that you know back kind of my minimal approach of youtube i guess i wouldn't say minimal but like more minimal of like editing with like the crazy music and like just you know i don't know let me know if you guys like that or if i'm crazy if i need to like start adding music in but like i kind of make these videos for myself and like to me like music can add a lot to something, but if it's the wrong kind of music, it can take a lot away. And I learned a lot from, I learned a lot of that by watching uh, my older videos. There was a lot of times where I was like, ooh, not, not good. But anyway, not gonna try to make this video longer than it needs to be. Um, if you made it all the way to the end, kudos to you. Thanks for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Made a lot of good memories and there's many more to come. This episode is brought to you by the sock beverage. Uh, you guys aren't gonna know what it is, but it's definitely gonna be tasty. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see out of this truck. Where would you like, where would you like to see me camp? What would you like to see me catch? Um, I've got some ideas, but hearing your guys' input is always helpful. So thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. If you'd be so kind to like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much. Until next time, tight lines.